Hello everyone, thank you again for tuning in to No Sweat English. My name is Carol Wright. Today I'd like to talk to you about kind of a confusing subject, which is the ing or the ed ending for an adjective. Okay, so let's talk about what adjectives are first. Before we do that, if you haven't hit subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so that every time a video comes available, you'll be notified. So let's get started. So participial adjectives is the name of this type of grammar. Um, adjectives, usually we think about adjectives, they are words to describe nouns, okay? Adjectives are words that describe nouns. Now adjectives usually are words like beautiful, or ugly, or big, small, right? So they are very unique words that are adjectives to describe nouns. Now adjectives can also look like this. It can also have an ed ending or an ing. Now I know from your English learning, you've learned that ed and ing ending are usually for verbs, right, and action but this has nothing to do with action. This has to do with describing a person, people, sorry, places or things, okay? So let's look at the ending of adjectives and end in ed and ing. One of the very popular adjectives is boring, right? When you say something is boring, what does that mean? When something is boring, when you see it or when you hear it, you just want to fall asleep or you don't want to pay attention. Sometimes classes can be boring or sometimes a movie can be boring, right? And so when something is boring, how do you feel? You feel bored by it, okay? So here I have an example. The movie is boring, okay? So how do I feel? I am bored right? Or the teacher is boring. So I am bored. Okay. So I want you to, every time you see ing, it means it gives the feeling or quality is an active meaning. This movie, the boring is describing the movie. The movie is boring. So I am bored by the movie. Okay. So ing is giving the feeling or the quality of boredom. ED is receiving the feeling or quality. So here I'm receiving the feeling of boredom. So I am bored. Now, sometimes students use it wrong. They tell teacher, teacher, I'm so boring because of your class. Now we don't want to say I am boring, right? If you say I am boring, what does that mean? That means you're a boring person. If people come talk to you, they fall asleep. Okay, so boring is usually to describe something that gives people that feeling. The movie is boring, I am bored. Now I want to go to sleep. Another example, you can say the book is interesting. So how do I feel? I'm interested in the book. So again, the book is giving the feeling of interest and I am receiving the feeling of interest. So I am now interested in the movie. So interesting to describe the book, interested describe me. Because the book is interesting, I am interested in the book. Next is the problem is confusing. Is giving people the feeling of confusion. I can't understand the problem. You can now say I am confused by the problem because the problem is confusing. Now again, ING gives the feeling, ED receives that feeling, okay? So that's how we tell the difference which one to use. Okay, so usually the ED is to describe some kind of feeling that you are receiving, ING is the feeling of giving, okay? And then we're gonna do some exercises now to see if you know which one to use, ING or ED, okay? All right, let's do some exercises right now on the board to see if you can tell the difference between using ing or ed for participial adjectives. Again, is it giving the feeling ing or receiving the feeling ed? Okay, so let's take a look at this sentence. The teacher is, and I want to use the verb bore, 
okay, like boring or bored. So I fell asleep. The teacher is, so I fell asleep. So the teacher is giving the feeling or receiving the feeling. In this case, the teacher is giving the feeling. So we're gonna use ing. The teacher is boring, so I fall asleep. Okay, because the teacher is giving that feeling. Number two, the students are confused. I want to use the word confused because the teacher speaks too fast. So is the students receiving the feeling or giving the feeling of confusion? This time the students are receiving confusion because the teacher speaks too fast. So I can say the students are confused. Okay, because the students are receiving confusion from the teacher. Next, John is interest. I want to use the word interested or interesting in films. He watches them all the time. Okay, so here John is interesting in films or interested in films. Interesting meaning John is giving interest. Is John giving any interest? No. John is receiving interest from the films. So I can say John is interested in films. He watches them all the time. Next, Disneyland is an excite place. Now, it's a place. Can it receive feelings of excitement? No, it has to give feelings, right? So it gives excitement to people. Disneyland cannot feel, cannot receive any feeling. It doesn't feel anything. So Disneyland is an exciting place because it gives the feeling of excitement to people. It's an exciting place. Number five, I am so excited about going to Six Flags. So I'm so, I'm receiving this excitement from Six Flags. I just feel so excited about going to Six Flags, all right? Love can be sometimes. Again, love is not a person. It cannot really receive or feel anything, so it must be giving the feeling. So love can be confusing sometimes. Okay, it's giving out confusion. Makes people feel confused, okay? Sometimes people say that love is confusing. People are about the new virus. Virus is like a sickness, right? So people are scared about the new virus. So people are feeling scared, receiving the feeling of scare, of being scared from the new virus. So new virus is scaring people, right? Okay, so people are scared about the new virus. Okay, so that's all the time we have today to talk about ing and the ed form of the adjective. Please comment below if this is still unclear to you, you would like me to make this clear, or if you have any suggestion for any lessons that you'd like, and I'd be happy to make one just for you. Don't forget the worksheet that is down below in the description. It says click here and you get to the worksheet to do more exercises and an answer key to check yourself. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.